everybody. How's it going out there in YouTube land? So, as for me, I'm just kind of, uh, sort of barely moving along here. Well, like a 15, 20 mile an hour headwind. But, you know, I'm flying west. What do you expect? So I'm getting ready to, I'm actually going to cross over Tin Cup Pass. That's Mount Princeton, just off the nose there on the right. Cross over there today, hopefully not get beat to death. So, anyway, I'm just up here freezing my ass off. Headed to Blue Mesa, actually. Going to see if I can land north of Blue Mesa. In fact, most of the way around Blue Mesa, there's quite a bit of BLM land. <clears throat> Got a friend who's actually going to meet me over there. It's really nice when you have somebody on the other end with a vehicle, you know. And he helps me film and take pictures and all kinds of stuff. He's really good at all that. Pretty well assume if it's windy it's going to be terrible and violent in the mountains that that pretty much holds true most of the time I spent a couple hundred hours in these mountains i suppose so at least i feel like i know something but i am by no means an expert you know i'm still learning all the time when i'm out here and uh, i'm not sure that you ever really are going to know it all you know So there's Blue Mesa Reservoir and you know I scouted some spots up on top of these these big bluffs up here. And there was a couple potential spots but it's pretty rocky and the trail's pretty bad and I really had to pee and they've got the gates shut. They've got all the gates shut to the public land down here. So my buddy's down there. I didn't want to end up up on top and have to hike three miles. So I'm going to uh walk down this road here and meet them that I landed on and then we'll come up with a plan from there, you know. So this whole fiasco started when I landed on that road, of course, to meet up with my buddy and um, I landed, I parked up out of the way where nobody really could see the airplane. I was trying not to attract attention, but what I've learned is that anytime you land anywhere where somebody can see you, uh, it just doesn't end well. I've had several issues like this and people have called in that I crashed and I was on fire uh, I crashed and people were jumping out of the airplane and running um, all sorts of bizarre stories that were totally inaccurate and uh, I don't quite understand what goes on there and I'm not even going to try to understand it uh, people are just not used to seeing airplanes land I guess at places other than airports not around here anyway so that's been kind of a fiasco. But anyway, I land here, park the airplane, I meet up with my friend, we're, we're kind of going over a game plan, eating some lunch, just over at the lake, and then pretty quick I see three park ranger vehicles, or, or two park ranger vehicles, and a, a, couple, a sheriff and a state patrol, and we go over there and talk to them, and, you know, the, the, they were not too happy. Well, the state patrol and the sheriff, those guys, they were cool, they didn't care. They just asked if I was okay, if I crashed, no great have a great day boom they're out park rangers on the other hand were not as excited about it and you know i explained to them that i didn't land on their state park land and i showed them you know where i landed and all that kind of stuff and started calling anybody and everybody they could and reporting it um, to see what would happen i guess and uh, blm didn't seem to care but uh, uh and so and so at that point they 
they got a little nicer and I think they realized we weren't up to anything, you know. And ultimately they gave me a ride back up to the plane and actually checked the plane out and blocked off the road in case somebody was walking there and you know, they, they kind of finally seemed to be getting a little nicer and I thought, oh, that's cool, you know, it's all good. So, um, you know, everything seemed fine. I blasted out of there, took off and went on about my day and then ultimately found this really awesome spot not all that far from there up on top of a thousand foot tall uh, mesa overlooking Blue Mesa, which was a phenomenal spot. We'll get into that here in a little bit, but what was interesting about this whole deal is a couple weeks go by and I get a call from a um, forest service officer and he has really been out of shape because I landed on a forest service road and apparently that road which has a you know has a, a non forest service name but it also goes by an FS you know number forest service road number as well which I didn't see and I think partly the reason this happened is I had to make some decisions in the air when I I couldn't land up on top of the bluffs and my buddy couldn't get up there to me and I kind of had to reroute and find a new location to land and I, I guess I missed that um, the app and, and some of the maps I was looking at didn't show that they showed the what I would consider the friendly name so I completely missed that it was Forest Service Road and what I didn't realize is that you know Forest Service Roads can run through and this one actually does runs through state park land BLM land and then Forest Service land up further north so you know I explained it to him I said look I I know better than to land on Forest Service roads I would never do that on purpose but I completely missed it and here's why and I was kind of explaining how it was pretty easy to miss and um, he didn't really care he kinda just gave me an ass chewing and then threatened me with a two hundred eighty dollar ticket for landing on a Forest Service road but ultimately let me off of the warning which I do appreciate I was glad that he did that and hey it's all good you know uh, it's just tough because there's, there's not really any resources out there for this kind of stuff we're doing. You know, we've talked to BLM and they're cool with it as long as it's not a, a any type of a study area and as long as you're not doing it for commercial purposes like hauling in hunters for hire. Uh, outside of that, they don't really care. And so, but anyway, it was a learning experience. It all worked out. Um, anyway, found this other spot that was just really fun, really cool. So let's get into that because that's a lot more. That's a lot more exciting than this. Mm -hmm.